Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since I posted a video, but finally had some time, things have been busy. I got the uh, Fox DHX2. So the Mega Tower V2 uh, comes factory with 230 by 62.5. Um, and I am going to change it to 230 by 65, which is gonna take my bike from 165 millimeters of rear travel to 170 millimeters of rear travel. So anyway, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Before we get started, drop a quick like, comment on this video, let me know what you think, and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, this is the Fox uh, DHX2. If you're taking it off the bike, it's going to have the collar on here holding the spring on. You'll have to uh, take the uh, little C-clamp that's in there off. So right now, the I can just pull the coil off. So here is your shock. And if you look here, you have the two Allen key bolts at the top. You're gonna need a two millimeter Allen key. Go ahead and loosen these bolts. So right now this shock is gonna have all the spacers in here, which is going to equal 160 millimeters of travel. See these spacers are two halves. If you're only removing a couple, they go, they go together on each side of the uh, shaft here, like so. Depending on the shock stroke you need is gonna basically depend on how many of these you remove. Each uh, spacer is gonna give you two and a half millimeters of shock stroke adjustment. So in my case, I want to take all of them out. So that's gonna be four in total. Once you have all those removed, you're just gonna put this cover back on and uh, find out where your screws go. Always recommend hand starting these so you don't cross thread anything. I just changed the shock from 230 by 62.5 to 230 by 65 millimeters to get the uh, full 170 millimeter on my Mega Tower V2. All right guys, well thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, uh, Put them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. And uh, again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.